Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing a leg and core routine using just one single stability ball. This entire routine is gonna be completely on the ground and doesn't involve any kind of jumping, exploding, or heavy lifting. So it is a very knee-friendly leg and core routine. Other than the ball, you do need a yoga mat or a flat soft surface. And we are not doing a warm-up together today, but I would highly recommend you do a warm-up routine before this workout. I would suggest something like walking, jogging, jumping jacks, something to get your body warm before starting the workout. We are, however, going to be doing a cool down and a stretch at the end, so make sure you stick around for that. So all the exercises today, we're gonna to be doing for 20 seconds each with a 30 second rest after each um, combination. So the first move we're gonna do is a inner thigh ball squeeze. So you're gonna place the ball between your legs, you're gonna keep your knees up, you're gonna squeeze as hard as you can, trying to pop the ball all the way in, all the way out. Right after, you're gonna do a reverse crunch, keeping tension on the ball so that you get an inner thigh squeeze while crunching. Then we're resting, okay? 20 seconds each, three, two, one, go. And rest. Nice. You should already feel some tension happening in both your inner thighs and your hip flexors. Okay. And when you squeeze the ball, you want to contract in as much as you can. You don't want to go super fast, but you want to get a nice exhale on the way in, inhale on the way out. Make sure your breathing is good. And then with the reverse crunch, really keep the tension on the inner thighs and you should engage your core and feel this all throughout your upper thighs, inner thighs, and abs. And we're gonna do it again. And we are going three, two, one, squeeze hard, go. makes for a great resting position the ball take a little bit of time really really try to squeeze as hard as physically possible you kind of make how hard this workout is by how much you're squeezing your abs and your inner thighs so we're gonna do this one more time then we are gonna get to the back of our legs the hamstrings and the glutes All right, get ready. Get it nice in between as low as you can. Get a good grip. Three, two, one, go.
All right, next move, we're gonna do hamstring curls. So you're driving your heels into the ball, stretching out, keep your core engaged, keep your butt, butt off the ground, and pull with your hamstrings on the way in, keeping your hips up, okay? Really try to isolate the hamstrings. Right after, you're gonna drop, put your legs up on the ball like we were when we were resting, sit up, reach for the toes, back down, up, reach for the toes. All right, let's do it. 20 seconds each, going in three, two, one, go. You set my soul on fire. And rest. Awesome. Really good. You should start feeling that not only in your hamstrings, but still a little bit in your inner thighs from doing all of the squeezing. Okay, so really imagine your hamstring being like a bicep. You're elongating and you're contracting. It's the same type of muscle as your bicep. Okay, so think about that. A muscle. And we're doing it again. And three, two, one, go. For a second already on our third set make sure you're not too close to anything that's preventing you from fully straightening like I was with the box because you want to get the full range of motion and if your hips aren't too high off the ground just try each time you do these to get a little bit higher you can use your arms a little bit but don't make it a full tricep workout all right, last one. Three, two, one, and go. Awesome. We're going to be keeping the ball here for this next one. And instead of doing a hamstring curl, we're going to be doing a bridge. So still lots of hamstrings, a little bit more glutes. You're going to be thrusting up, squeeze your glutes and back down. Barely letting your butt graze the ground, straight back up. Okay. Right after we're going to do yoga ball passes. So you're passing it down, make sure you grip it properly, and back up. Okay, you can also stay here. You don't have to get your back fully off the ground. Just make sure you get the crunch in. All right, let's do it. Squeeze those cheeks at the top. Very important. Three, 
two, one, go. And rest. Ooh. Definitely feel those. They're sneaking up those hamstrings. Should be feeling a little sweaty now. If your hamstrings feel real tight, you can always stretch during a break. Happy baby is a really good one for the hamstrings. Or you can just rest your hands, your legs up here. Take it easy. We're gonna go again, same thing. Get the glutes up and squeezed. Three, two, one, go. And rest. Awesome. We are almost done with this one. After we do this next set, we're going to be flipping over and elevating on the ball. A little elevation. Can't be lying down the whole time. Come on. <laughs> as much as we'd like to. Whew. Proof that you can lay down and still get a really good workout. <laughs> I was gonna call this lazy girl workout, but it's not that lazy. <laughs> but if you if you like feeling like you don't want to stand a lot, you can totally do this. All right, three, two, one, last one, squeeze. <laughs> And rest. All right, while you're resting, I'm going to explain this next one. It's going to involve feet on the ball, toes on the ball, and we're going to be going up and down. So dig your toes in, get a good hand placement, keep the ball in close like this, and we're going to be going up and down, bending, straight in. Bend, straighten, bend, straighten, okay? Right after, you're gonna go right into a forearm plank and hold, all right? First one, you're gonna feel that a lot in your quads, your core, maybe a little bit in your arms, okay? Do as best you can, and we are going. Three, two, one, go. Start 
Twitch. Awesome. Very good. Good stuff. Rest for a second. Take a little water if you need it. I need it. <laughs> that one for sure. You might feel a little head rush. Make sure you're really breathing properly. That's gonna help your body recover faster. All right, already going again. Same thing, core tight. Straighten those legs as much as you can at the top. Three, two, one, go. Awesome. Ooh, it's a little shaky get it on there sometimes. That's okay. If you feel a little shaky when you fall off, just get right back on. Okay, it's a ball. It's trying to literally roll away from you. <laughs> okay, it's a nice sphere. So the more you can dig your toes in, the better. Sometimes it's better with no shoes so you can balance a little bit better. And we're doing it again. Last one. Make it good. Three, two, one, go. Awesome. We are done with that part. We have one more move, and this one is going to be very glute focus. Ending with the glutes today. We're going to lay on our ball all the way down. Make sure you have some space behind you. Okay. And you want to get a good hand grip on the ground. So, kind of far forward, not too much, enough to where your legs can come down like this. Okay, then you're gonna lift and squeeze. So maybe a little more forward. Down, lift, squeeze. Okay, or actually come a little more back. Yep, like that. You kinda have to find your sweet spot. So we're lifting, squeezing, down, squeeze, down, squeeze. Then we're holding, going in and out. Okay? It's a good upper glute one. Sneaky. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna start a little further back. We can roll forward, have a little more space. Perfect. And we are going in three, two, one, go. Thank <laughs> you. 
If you do those ones properly, you should feel that all the way up in the side, upper glutes. Okay, shouldn't feel it too much in your back. If you're feeling it in your back, you're probably compensating or swinging a little bit. So try to do it controlled. Even if you can't get your legs super high, focus on flexing the glute muscles. Muscle mind connection better than going crazy and not feeling it anywhere. Okay, going again. Whoop. It's fun to get on the ball. <laughs> Going again, 20 seconds each. Squeeze the cheeks. And we're going in three, two, one. And time I messed up, go. One more set. That one I really was feeling in my glutes. They almost started cramping. <laughs> so if it starts to get that cramping feeling, you know, you know it's working. Whew. One more set. Praying for this last set. <laughs> Gonna walk it out. This is even more effective too. If you wanna get wild, you can put a band on or ankle weights. We're not doing that today. All right, last one. Three, two, one, go. Squeeze. And the legs were shaking. Woo! Shaking on that last one. Woo! All right. We are gonna stretch. Well deserved stretch today. So lay that mat out. Let's start on our back. That was that was sneaky. Woo! And let the arms come out to the side. Woo. Lift one leg, cross it over. And if you want, you can grab your other leg, per use, pull it in. Whew. Glutes, the quads, the hamstrings, and the inner thighs all work today. The only part that might not have gotten that worked is the calf. Slowly down, which I love and hate training calves, but sometimes we can leave them alone. <laughs> Grab the leg. You do work your calves every day by walking. One day I'll have to just do a full quick calf routine because I do know a really effective quick one. Slowly release, all the way back up. We're gonna take our legs up into a nice, happy baby. Really good stretch. Oh. Feel good stretch. And then we're gonna drop one leg. Drop one leg while holding on to the other one. Whoop. 
if you can hold on to it <laughs> and keep it up. <sighs> Try to get this leg as straight as you can. If you have tight hips like me, then it might not fully touch the ground, but do the best you can. Also pull it up like this, it makes it a little bit easier. And switch legs. Oh, this side doesn't even want to go on the ground. I see you leg. And slowly down, we are going to turn over and we're going to go into a nice frog stretch. Forearms on the ground, toes pointing out. We're going to push your hips back. Feel this nice stretch in your inner thighs and your hips. And up on your hands, drop your hips forward, make sure you're breathing. And slowly into downward dog. it up go into a nice wide stretch hands to the ground if you can and slowly up awesome we are done with the workout I hope you all enjoyed it and you got a really good leg and core workout and it wasn't too, too crazy for you. It's definitely a very isolating workout, but low impact. So if you did like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all for the next one.